everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to teach you really stylish and simple top and you have no idea how easy and stylish it looks and um, as you can see it's just a wrap top you can wrap the back part in the front and make a lovely tie knot in the front it keep hanging on your um, trouser so you can use it with a wide leg trouser or normal trouser as like just like I'm wearing and I wear it at work and I got lots of compliments. I'm so excited to share with you and I would love to hear your comments as well. So let's dive into our video. I used one meter of a very stretchy jersey fabric and all we have to do we need to take our waist measurement and if your waist measurement total waist measurement front and back it is uh, 30 inches so you need to take 3 inches less it means you have to take 27 inches wide so uh, that is about the width and the length I am taking 18 inches because I want to wear on the top of my uh, trouser so 18 inches so we will add 2 inches belt so total length of the top will be 20 inches so now I have folded fabric and I'm going to cut neckline. So neckline I am cutting from the folded part of the fabric. So uh, we don't have to stitch shoulders at all. We just have to make neckline. So neckline depth is totally up to you. How wide and how deep neckline you want. But I am here making 3 inches wide and um, uh, 2 point five inches deep and I'm just taking my French curve ruler to give a round shape and um, then it will be the back part of our neckline and the front I will make it deeper and just like a normal blouse we will make a um, neck lining and you keep watching how easy this top is now i am making front neckline deeper so you can make a round shape or you can make v-neck or whatever design so i just want a simple round neck so i my top will be ready and i can wear it to work so i'm just going to give it a little depth about two inches more and uh, that's it our neck done neck part and I will just pin it up at the moment so because um, this fabric is really slippery now I have cut the belt for the front part so belt will be um, the total length of your waist because if your waist is 30 inches then ma uh, make the belt of 30 inches because this is a stretchy fabric so it will easily overlap but if your fabric is not stretchy then take 2 inches extra it means like a, if your waist is 30 inches so belt you take 32 inches so we can um, um, uh, we can press so we can add press on buttons on the uh, on the edges and they can overlap because I do not want to make a knot at the back of this top because when you have a knot at the back you can't sit properly basically so it's really uncomfortable so I'm going to use the press on button and now I'm going to cut belt for the um, back part because it's a long belt we are going to cut because the back part is coming in the front so we're going to cut long belt and I'm taking four inches wide strip two wide strips I am cutting four inches and then I will join them So now I have a two wide strips, four inches wide and um, uh, length is according to the fabric I have got left. So I will um, join these pieces together. So I will have a long belt and that will be coming from the back part of our um, top. And now I'm uh, cutting neck lining. For the neck lining I'm cutting diagonal strips, two diagonal strips 
of 1.5 inches because um, neckline I'm making is a round so uh, I will be using diagonal lining so I'm just going to cut and then we will join these pieces and I will use as a neck lining so now it is the time for sewing and I will start by hemming the sides of the top because there are two sides we are not stitching so we just hem these two sides so I have hemmed these sides and if you're using jersey fabric use the needle for the stretchy fabric now this uh, neckline strip is ready as well and I'm going to attach neckline strip after hemming and then I will fix it with the pins so before we taking under the sewing machine, it is good idea to fix with the pins. I have attached this neck lining and now um, I will be folding it inside. So two fold we will give and it will look like this. So I just fold it inside and hem the neck lining. So it is a time to attach belt now. So for attaching the belt we can uh, first of all um, fo uh, fold this belt and mark where your um, uh, belt is ending because um, i am going to overlap um, this belt at the end so this um, belt is exact the same measurement as my waist because is i'm using very stretchy fabric now i'm going to fix it with the pins first and keep watching how I'm preparing this belt so now we have these two um, edges and what I will do I will mark first where we have to stop uh, sewing and I will turn them inside out and just like a normal uh, fabric belt we make I will uh, stitch it so these ends will be ready before we uh, attach the belt to our top i will stitch on one side i have done it now i'm going to simply remove the pin and um, take any uh, sharp pencil or um, um, anything sharp and take these edges out now this is the front part of the top and belt is attached to our um, uh, top as well so this uh, now I'm going to prepare the uh, longer belt and the longer belt it will attach at the back part of uh, the top in the same way I attach the front part belt So our top is nearly done so this front part belt is smaller and the back belt is longer as much as you like because this one is going to wrap around the front top and uh, this front top we can add the um, uh, press on buttons so uh, it will go at the back so now I'm going to show you how to wear this top so this is the front part I added press on buttons which I am going to close it as you can see I have closed this front buttons and our uh, uh, top is in place now the front uh, sorry the back part it will come uh, overlapping the front part so this one is overlapping in the front and you make a tie knot on the front so our top is ready so it look really stylish you can um, try it at home and let me know 
how did you find it i really enjoy wearing this top and it looks really nice with a wide leg trouser or just a, a simple trouser i am wearing so this is how it looks like and it's really nice and um open uh, sleeves and really flowy top and i use very soft jersey fabric and it's really cool in this um summer weather in london this week so um that was our video today and hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye